Before the white man arrived in North America, estimates are that the Great Plains were dominated by buffalo, with a population approaching 50 million animals. An adult bison had virtually no natural predators, but they were hunted by the native peoples. Many of those tribes depended on these animals for their livelihood, using the meat for food and the hide for various purposes. However, the number of animals killed by the natives was limited, having little impact on the buffalo populations. Numbers were restored naturally. When the newly arrived European settlers expanded westward, they quickly encountered these animals. At first, hunting was also subsistence. But soon these animals became economically exploited. The 19th century was harrowing and buffalo were hunted indiscriminately. These animals had as enemies the railroad barons, who hated buffalo and considered them to be the opposite of progress because they blocked the railroads or caused accidents. A barbaric practice became standard on the journeys of some companies. Passengers were offered rifles and the opportunity to shoot a huge beast for mere fun. Those who shot the most animals were rewarded. Sport hunting of buffalo spread rapidly. Hunting groups shot hundreds of animals for sheer pleasure. But the natives considered violence against buffalo as an attack on their way of life. Therefore, there were several conflicts between natives and hunters. Many Indians would perish in these quarrels, but many white men were also scalped. These conflicts between Indians and white men turned the extermination of the buffalo into a military strategy. The American government wished to confine the indigenous peoples to reservations, but they resisted. The U.S. administration realized that there were no Indians where there were no buffalo. Encouraged by General Sherman, they would create great hunting expeditions, where one of the mottos was, kill a buffalo and drive an Indian away. Famous figures like Buffalo Bill Cody and Pat Garrett became famous and made money killing dozens of animals every day. The number of buffalo fell rapidly. The species seemed destined for total extinction. By the end of the 19th century, the estimate put the buffalo population at only a few hundred. But with the policies to protect this species, by the year 2000, there were 3,500,000 of these animals, a negligible number compared to the tens of millions of bison of old. The wipeout of the American bison was one of the history's worst environmental crimes.